Hey everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Tell Me Why by Maddox. Now today we have a very special guest. This guy, he's a comedic god in stand-up. Well, he's an actor. He's a radio and TV personality. And he's a cultural attaché, as we attaché. say. Attaché. See? Woo attaché. I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Tara. I love this. I'm taking you with you on, my, on the road. She's going with me on the road. Cultural attaché. That was. Can I call my take care of the dogs or something? Like McTee? Uh, no. 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 Look pretty. I think we're out. That, that works. That actually, works. That, 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 that that's work. a thing. That's actually a thing. That's actually a skill set. A lot of people. And then we'll know. get more of you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're with one pretty girl, it attracts other yeah. pretty girls. Okay. That's okay. That's really like By the way, this show is amazing. I just want to point out: if you're not listening to the show or not sharing it, you're a bad person. <laughs> We All right, let's you. go. Let's check. He's such an amazing person. Um, we just reached out to him and asked him to come to our show, and, and here he we did. are. That is how you are a man of your word. What's the difference between sapiosexuality and simply preferring to date smart people? Bring on. Just oh. So, just to define sapiosexuality, sapiosexuality is being attracted to people mentally. And being attracted to intelligence. That is the thing. Now, why is it different than just dating smart people? Because dating smart people, smart people and intelligent people are actually very different things. A lot of people are smart, but they are not intelligent. Mm -hmm. Smart is the just the simple dissemination of information. Mm -hmm. You can remember a lot of things. You've mm -hmm. met a lot of smart people, especially if you've ever went to any upper, higher education. You've met a lot of smart people. And you've met a lot of dumb people that had huge degrees. Mm -hmm. They were like dumb people, but they had huge degrees. So they are technically smart <laughs> in some way too. But to meet someone who's intelligent, someone who's on your wavelength, that has that energy, that vibe, the ability to not just understand, but also comprehend. By the way, they're coming to arrest me. Right? <laughs> they're like, oh my God. They're like, you're speaking too intelligently and you're black and Persian. Take that one to jail. Persian, but I would, yeah, yeah. You've got all of it. But Go that's for it. the... That's that idea. The concept is you're meeting and being with someone whose intelligence and energy and level is what you're vibing with. Mm -hmm. Like you're just enamored by the way they're able to comprehend. And that's what's... And you would think, like, even something like common sense oh, yeah, is not yeah. so common, right? Okay. That's... So that's something you could be attracted to. But it's being mentally attracted to people. It doesn't... So gender doesn't matter. You know, for me, I have a specific gender not preference but an innate preference okay. right so my typical gauge is heterosexuality would i sleep with will smith i might have to you know i might have to for that <laughs> I mean, role yeah. you I mean, know? I would, I uh, you'd have to like it's will smith yeah like how many times did i watch men in black i'd have to give him a hand job <laughs> you know that's a real that's, that's not me that's harvard did a study you know what yeah. i'm saying like independence day you know how many times i've watched in oh, the speech in independence day that even he didn't give mm -hmm. is so good because of will smith mm -hmm. but in, in general i have i personally have uh, a gender preference mm -hmm. That's a personal, mm -hmm. just a per personal preference. However, when it comes to sapiosexuality and when it comes to sexuality in general, there are no rules. Mm -hmm. Sexuality itself is yeah, fluid. That's it. Just let it be you. It's just we're being ourselves. It's not about, yes. you know, the Not putting in a box, which is everyone. Exactly. Society. One thing that I do, <laughs> Tehran, is a lot. Uh, I have to always say I'm lesbian because if I don't say it, men try to hit on me. And it's just a constant, like every time I don't come out, I haven't come out one time. I'm constantly coming out. Like at work, I'm, I'm lesbian, I'm gay. It's just that because that's the only way that I can stop other people approaching me. And I have to put myself in a box to say, look, I'm not interested in you, thank you. Because they really think that size matter and they think that I didn't find the right size. You know, it's so interesting <laughs> to me when, when, for example, you have to explain to a man that you're gay mm -hmm. in order for them to understand that you don't want them, when you couldn't just say, hmm, I don't want you, because they couldn't understand that. You see that a lot, and it's a form of to toxic masculinity mm. and misogyny, is when men go, oh, they're hitting on you, and you have to say, when women have to say or feel the need to say they have a boyfriend, because that means that I, as a man, respect the fact that right. you have another yeah. man way more than I respect your own right. personal yeah opinion yeah. or need that is very true and i mean i i originally thought this is because i'm persian and we don't we, we're not good at confront confrontation so it's much easier for her yeah to me say i don't no. care about confrontation 
I'm it's like, much what, easier. But I'm not into it. Yeah, but you're just gay. Like, no! <laughs> like, you don't have to explain. You don't have to explain. You you could have cancer. I and I still, but then some there guys are men, though, that, that are into that it. That say, well, you haven't had the right, the right man, dick. Right dick, yeah. Yeah, right dick in general, you know. And I'm like, no, that's not it. Even well, if they see me as gay They do men as who ask, though. Like, this is common. It's so common yes. for a woman. Like, oh, I you haven't are. tried you're mine. Cool. And I'm like, right. you haven't had my dick. Well, here's, it's actually something, and I always say this, uh, as you're learning about the Persian culture mm -hmm. more, and of course you're an expert, mm -hmm. Persian people, if you don't want a type of food, tell them you don't like it, right? Oh, if yeah. you want a type of food, tell a Persian okay. person that you don't like it, and they will go out of their way to make sure to get that, give you that food. Like, they give so much, <laughs> especially when you don't want to take. So they'll be like, they oh my God. More. Yeah, so if you say, oh, I don't like spaghetti, they'll be like, oh my God, you, you don't like spaghetti? Have mind. my mother's spaghetti. It's the best spaghetti. <laughs> Just have a taste of my mother's spaghetti. My khala makes the best spaghetti. I've done that. Her spaghetti is the best. Does she that. doesn't like yogurt, it. and I keep telling her, no, baby, yeah, try baby, this yogurt. Exactly, <laughs> and that's why it's so difficult for Persian people to accept gay people mm, because if right. you as a gay person are like oh i don't I i'm so sorry i don't like penis you don't i don't like vagina try you my don't husband. like vagina have you had my mother's oh, vagina yeah. <laughs> taste some of my father's <laughs> vagina trust me it's the best vagina in the world it'll change your <laughs> you look just have call it. give him the vagina like, they really it's just like that is so true it's 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 i never tell, i often said other people do it but i do it too like i she says that she doesn't like do i'm like just try it just try it doesn't do she doesn't want Dick, and okay? then I feel dookie. Let it be. Exactly. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Oh my god. But that you have to I, I don't understand why we don't just let people be people. That's and right. let them be them. So it is what it is. But in forms of in, in the concept of sap sapiosexuality, yeah. it is definitely different than just simply dating smart people exactly. for sure. Mm -hmm. For okay. sure. There's a whole difference. I see what you're oh gonna get in. You can read these questions. Yeah, these are uh, these are good handwriting. Your handwriting is actually good. Actually, if her handwriting <laughs> was bad, I wouldn't be able to read them either. Do you think that the education you received in school was culturally biased or did it cover topics proportionate to the importance of the subjects? Hmm. Interesting question. So, as a person who's gone to a lot of school, Mm -hmm. A lot of school, more school than the average person by far. I've gone to, so I went to a great high school, then I went to a very good college, got a double undergrad degree, uh, and then got a master's, and then got a law degree. Of course, the education is culturally biased. Of course, because the author can only write from their perspective, of course, mm. and they negate and neglect experiences that are not for them it's actually why the sat in a lot of times is racist and it's not just racist oh. but it's also placist mm. and what i mean by racist and places is if you're not from a big city with progressive ideologies mm -hmm. then you're not going to do as well at the sats because that's yeah. who tends to write them mm -hmm. right these academics who come from these bigger cities bigger backgrounds so if you are a poor person and don't know what uh, charcuterie is mm. then you're going to have a problem understanding what that word is to begin with i'm mm -hmm. going to have to overcome something that someone who's familiar with it because they grew up in manhattan isn't mm. and then there's also a lot of cultural bias in the questions itself yeah right so you'll see a lot of questions where i have to understand the concept of whiteness in order to understand evaluate and be properly educated for this question mm -hmm. okay now put that aside okay. so now you have placism and racism also, you have a bias towards the information that people want mm -hmm. you to know. We're right now in the midst of Black History Month. When you look at Black history, all Black history seems to go all the way back to slavery. Slavery mm -hmm. and then Black people were invented yes. through slavery. Mm -hmm. And because of slavery, Black people now are this oppressed society of Blacks mm -hmm. who, who went from slave to free and even mm -hmm. had a president mm -hmm. even though no one realizes that president obama was just as much white as he was black mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. so there is a cultural bias and it's implicit and it's something that we have to be aware of and we have to change it's why critical race theory in its application which may not be amazing but in its theory is the ability to look at race and systemic racism through everybody's yeah. eyes and mm -hmm. understand what effects it has on today mm -hmm. so if you're looking at it through the eyes the lens of lgbtqia 
historically, we don't hear about them. Mm, yeah. We don't hear about how many people had a mm -hmm. different sexual orientation no. for people of positions of power. By the way, gay is not new. No. No, no. Don't believe me. It's not. Look at those same Greeks that everyone loves. Yeah. Right? Everyone, oh, the Greek. Trust me, gay is not new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We act like it just got invented in the 80s. Yeah. It's like, Gays that <laughs> AIDS. No, it was AIDS. Yeah, yeah it, it was like <laughs> gay that AIDS and black. Somehow, yeah. it's like, oh, you know, they all uh, show up all of it showed up at yeah. the same time. That's yeah. not new, right? Black people are not new. Mm -hmm. Black people did not just go slavery in existence. Okay. There's no. an entire, yeah, I know it's shocking. Isn't, and there's a, there's the Eve gene. Do you know what the Eve gene is? No. What's it's the, Eve? The, the Eve gene is the, the only gene where it's it's proven by scientists that it's the first gene in human history that can dominate every other gene and it's in African American women. If she produces with any other race, the dominant gene is black. Mm -hmm. And that's how they could prove that that was the first gene in human in human. Well, I I would say that as well simply because honestly, no offense to your white skin, but <laughs> How do you people survive the sun? Can we talk about I this? I don't. The one thing we I have burn, in abundance on this earth is sun. <laughs> and somehow white people are allergic to the sun. Yep. Like, basically, it's the dominant sunscreen gene. It's saying survive. Survive. <laughs> survive. Yeah. True. But you say it's so amazing, though. It's just like, it's not that all of a sudden uh, they just pop out. <laughs> That's no, how we work. Like showed up and, yeah. As everything is new and everything only goes back to here. Uh, Gay people went back to Arthur Ashe or whoever. Yeah, you know, the yeah. first there was one gay person, and that was it, mm -hmm. and that kind of that spawned the gayness. That's not how it's this not works. And it's insane, Tehran, that how much we all <laughs> we talk about racism in previous uh, interview as well, right? Uh, we were just talking about reviewing some of the questions we want to put for you, and uh, what came to my mind, and I really try to not be racist. I really try to improve and every day learn. Mm -hmm. I realized that if I come to her and I say that I just met a person, that they were a good person, like I want to talk about them, I would say that I met this person, she was American, she was black. I'm like, why do I, on earth, do I need people. to why do we say, say that? It? Why do we or like people that, that person their... was Asian, like I met this woman, she was Asian, like she was Indian. Like, why, like, why didn't I say that? that Barbara is a lawyer, she's from Ohio. I say she's Asian. Yeah, you would say, oh, I met this black woman who was a lawyer. Who was a lawyer from my house. Sure. Why? Why would you do well, that? Well, at some point, that's also part of human nature. We, The easier we can differentiate, the, yeah. the easier we can express mm. it to one another. It's not that there's a problem saying that Barbara was a black lawyer from Ohio. Mm -hmm. It's when we add value yeah. or take away when it's black or white And the meaning we associate okay. to it though. Exactly. Like for example, when you yeah. say Persian, uh, when I'm in the airport, I'm Persian, I'm like, I, I'm Persian, I need to be careful in immigration, right? It's just because the moment that the officer says I'm Persian, they are looking for terrorism. <laughs> Where am I coming mm -hmm. from? As if so there's just, a monolith of everything, and mm -hmm. that's why. That, the the that generalization concept, of exactly. it. Exactly, and we were talking about boxes. Mm -hmm. Boxes are meant for things and not people. Not for mm -hmm. people, yeah, absolutely. Wow. And we do it, like the moment you say that, and we, I know you guys are also doing it. The moment you say Asian, you have a preset idea of what Asian means. 100%. Yep. You say Indian, Indian are in this box. If it is African, African are in the... We all do it. It's not really... At least I hope we all are doing it because I really hear it and I feel it. Uh, and it's important for us to ask. Yeah. Like, why do we do that? Be, at least be aware of. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> say Baba. I love the way you say Baba. 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 The way he baba. says Baba. Baba. Why is it considered a taboo in society for men to be emotional? Hmm. Hmm. Do you cry, Tara? Do I cry? No. When he doesn't have Baba. <laughs> when I, Baba is not there. Okay. I cry. I'll tell you when I cry. Have you ever watched Forrest Gump? Yeah, yeah, no. Everyone should cry. Of course. Like a little I bit. I ran out of Robin Wright. Please cry. I, cry. Like, I knew yeah. I was gay from Jenny. Yo, yo I understand. <laughs> no. Jenny, yo, I hated Jenny. Okay. <laughs> see. Like Jenny, you know, everything forced. You know? Yeah. Forrest, it was so good. Man, he was just, man. He got everything. Yeah. So you cry when you watch Forrest Gump, but. Well, I don't generally cry. I'm not a big crier. I'm also not an emotional person. Mm -hmm. I'm a very stoic person. It's just my nature. You certainly It has are nothing to do with my temperament. And it, with me personally, I don't believe it has to do with the amounts of toxic masculinity, even though, of course, it is within me, within reason. But it's not overflowing like it is with a lot of other mm. people. With me, it's just, in general, I'm a stoic person. I also don't get excited about things, you know? Mm -hmm. To me, just life is very, very 
Um, hmm. I, I don't want to say it's like mundane, but it is very it's consistent. <laughs> I enjoy it and I like it. Mm -hmm. I just, it's cool. Like, yeah. if, like if I won the lottery, I'd be like, cool. Like that's how I feel <laughs> no, about it. You can always change with us if you don't get excited. We yeah, can get the excited. Like, yeah, cool. can be the like, excited. Cool. But why, is, why, why do you think society, I mean, we, all men have that, right? Men should sure. not cry. What happens if men Boys cry? don't cry. Boys don't cry. Because they're weak? Is that, is that the, that's the, what the I think they associate if you cry. It, it does give yourself. a perception of weakness. And because of misogyny, the patriarchy and toxic masculinity, the male world is very different than the female world. And those freedoms aren't allotted. We're not taught to deal with our emotions. We're taught to punch a wall instead of actually deal with things. Mm -hmm. And it, a lot of it has to do with in historically speaking anthropologically speaking emotions could have got you killed mm. men had to be pragmatic leaders thinkers and warriors also because other men will see your emotional state as weakness mm. and especially in historical times that could mean the loss of land property oh, okay power so can't lead you anything lose, okay you lose a lot of value the society which is built by men exactly right, the society right. that's built by men and then that's why we have so many problems when people <laughs> we were talking about these these boxes people mm -hmm. like oh black people are this and, mm -hmm. and muslims are this muslims are terrorists and black people are killers or whatever the stereotype if you really want to know the truth it goes back to men oh, like yeah. it's like well, you're not really talking about Muslim. You're, no one's really afraid of Fatima getting on the plane. <laughs> no, you know? that's but true. if Akbar gets on the plane, you're like, oh. Uh, yeah, that is very And it's like me and you looking like, oh, who's this guy? And you're like, Teron, isn't that your dad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust the guy. You know? So, so you're really just looking at men a lot of times. You get these incel white men who shoot up malls and, and Vegas. You know, mm -hmm. why? because men don't learn how to deal with their emotions. And it's so interesting to me that if I break my leg, I go to the doctor, but if I break my heart, I just stay home. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you don't even acknowledge it. Yeah. You just, yeah. you go, okay, Keep next. Move. Walk on. it off. Move on, yeah. Walk it off. That's, that's, the, that's the way it works. Do you think, I don't know why this question has come to my mind, do you think society is ready to have a president woman? I was gonna ask that. Is society ready to have a president. Female, female president? president. I do not think society is ready for a female president. I think that the world has been ready for a female president mm -hmm. for a long time. In fact, if it was my decision, I think that women should have ran the world. Yes. Like we've given it a good try, men have given it a go. Hey, Beyonce, we've had World War II. <laughs> you know, World War II should have been like, hey, you know what, guys aren't doing right, okay? Let's have women, let's have women in charge, okay? Mm -hmm. So the world is ready, but I don't think society is ready because of that patriarchy, because to the privileged, equality will always feel like oppression. Absolutely. And to mm -hmm. men, that's why. And they're so insecure and so unconfident when it comes to their women and when it comes to women and when it comes to their position as mm -hmm. it relates to women that I feel. And, and then you also see other women who have brain, been, been brainwashed into thinking that as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Who've been thinking. Yeah. Absolutely. Who, Hillary Clinton, who I'm not, I don't care about the politics, mm -hmm. right? Hillary Clinton was qualified to be the president. I, once again, mm -hmm. remove politics. I do not care about the politics. I also do not like Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. I do not think she she was a, mm -hmm. the president that I really Michelle wanted Obama if I got can. to choose. You know? <laughs> I <laughs> should Obama. Michelle Obama for president. Yeah, Michelle would have been amazing. I would have. Michelle seems like she a wonderful person. Nice. I know. So go on. Continue. But okay. Hillary Clinton, her final mistake was simply when she cried one time mm -hmm. at a specific rally and everyone was like, oh, look how weak she is. She cried. She, what can't a, leave. she did something that humans do. We assess that towards women all the time. Mm -hmm. Women, if I run around with my nipples out, by the way, everyone has nipples. The one thing we all share is nipples. If I go outside, I'm running on the Santa Monica beach and I'm running shirtless, it's great. But if you do it, it's illegal, right? Mm -hmm. Even though technically it's not supposed Absolutely. to be and it's not in Santa Monica, but and it's illegal. Great. People would gawk and people are like, <laughs> People would just lose their minds. Yeah. Why? Like, oh my God, if you're breastfeeding a child, yeah. Oh, yeah. you whore, put your tin away. Mm -hmm. Use them for what they're supposed to be, selling cars and burgers and, and <laughs> beer. Like, that's really, like, <laughs> <of course>. yeah, <laughs> Use like, them in the right still, way. I think society isn't ready, mm. and it's long overdue. It's long and overdue. And the world has been asking for this. And you want to know something very interesting? In this country, we've never had a, a female president. And in four out of five major Muslim countries, they have had female Very leaders. True. And Very four true. out of five major Muslim Very countries. True. Absolutely. No, from no. India mm -hmm. to Indonesia, mm -hmm. Malaysia. I mean, you were talking about female 
even in Iran itself, you have more women in the Congress mm -hmm. than you do here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's very We're interesting behind. to me. It's very, it's it's very behind. Yeah. And especially for a Western nation, mm -hmm. for us not to have had a female president because she's a woman. And yeah. that being the defining factor. Remember, it's not because we haven't presented good female heads of state. It's because she was a woman people felt remiss. Yeah. Race, which should be the least important thing. The least important thing has become the most important thing. Race, we care about people's race. Since when? Why do we care? People come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, right? And there's a person, I'm standing in, at the airport. There was this lady in front of me, white lady, no offense. <laughs> like, and I'm serious, like a white, like a fat white lady, like with her husband. No offense, I said no offense. I think her name was Barbara. I don't know why she had like a Barbara vibe, like Barbara, like Barbara, right? She's standing in line right in front of me. A, a guy walks into the plane, happens to bump into her, happens to be black. Happens to be black. Yeah, I'm pointing at the only black guy here. <laughs> pointing at the black guy here. The rest of you niggas, I can't see any of you. You know what I'm saying? So, point. Like, yo, you know what she turns to her husband and says? She turns to her husband and goes, those fucking black guys, just like that. I'm standing right there, fucking black. They're all disrespectful. Look at them. Animals, they're all the same. That's what she said. No, yes. And I was hurt. I was hurt because this bitch didn't think I was black. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even... <laughs> Like she said that because usually in front of other black people, you like you don't say nothing. You're like, ah, N word. Like you don't say. <laughs> so disrespectful, Barbara. And here's the thing: it's 2018. 2018. I'm different now. I don't attack people. No, it's a new year. It's a new me. I kill them with kindness. Treat people as good as you are, not as bad as they are. So I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I waited, and when we got on the plane, Barbara, like when she was in, she was trying to sit her fat Barbara arms. She couldn't put the bag. She couldn't put the bag in the compartment. She could. She was like, ah, Barbara, like she couldn't. You know what I did? You know what I did? I helped her. I grabbed the bag. I grabbed it. Killed them with kindness. I grabbed the bag, bro, like a gentleman. I grabbed the bag. And then I threw that shit down my fucking aisle. I was like, what? They're like a nigga, you know? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I helped her. I helped Barbara. I helped Barbara with her fat hands, and I helped her. And I put the bag in the compartment. I put the bag in the compartment, and I'll tell you what happened. Her whole demeanor changed. Her whole demeanor changed. She turned around and looked at me, and she said, oh my God. That was so sweet, so sweet. And I remember, it's not like I forgot, you know what I'm saying? She's like, oh my God, so sweet. Honey, did you see this? She, it, she her demeanor changed, her, her, like, her spirit changed. She even got skinnier, I swear to God, she was skinny. <laughs> she was like, but she got skinny, she got skinny. She was like, oh my God, all uh, right. She was so nice, all of a sudden. She was like, look at this, honey. Did you see this nice young man? Nice young man, help me with my bag. What a wonderful young man. I was like, no, bitch, say black now. <laughs> Say black now. Say all blacks are the same like me. Say I'm later like me, okay? I have a master's in econ and a law degree. What do you want from me? You know what I'm saying?